So who's going to survive the AI revolution? Right now I'm about to give you guys five different types of developers that I believe have an unfair advantage and will survive this revolution that's coming. Okay, so let's get started. All right, now I'm gonna start with something very controversial. I'm gonna bunch both of these together is email developer and content editor. And you might say, why Joe? What the hell? Really? I thought it would be like the Python guy or the Node.js guy or the TypeScript guy. No, right? I'm gonna tell you why. The reason why I believe that content editors and email developers survive AI and will evolve with it is because most email developers and content editors are already used to using tools to get the job done. They're not the ones fighting it. They're not the ones like, man, I need to write code from scratch. No, they're the ones going with the tools that's there to solve the problems for the businesses. Okay, I'll give you a great example. A lot of people think that when you become an email developer, you have to build emails from scratch every single day. Actually, no. You only need to use code whenever you have to, right? Most of the time you're actually using drag and drop tools and templates that already have been created. So your job is really to create the automations and testing parts of those emails. Now you might say, well, yeah, Joe, hey, I could do that. Yes, but the thing is that these people are already used to using tools. So as AI starts coming in, right, and get implemented into the jobs, it's just part of the job now. I'm using extra tools to solve the problem. So I believe that these individuals, just like Ivan Hurt, right? Okay. So when this AI revolution comes in, they're already used to it. They're not fighting it, they're going with it. Okay. Now, the next type of developer that I have here is the creative developer, okay? People like Sid Stumpel, okay? Award-winning freelance creative developer from Amsterdam, right? Have won awards, right? Um, also two teaches, right? This is what she does, right? This is not the simple little things that you do, right? Where you be like, well, here's a, a crud, right? She's creating experiences, right? that creative side as a developer, not everyone has that. These type of individuals have been actually nurturing those skills that a lot of other developers focus so much on the code, kind of left the creative side over there. These individuals actually went in and they nurture that part of their journey as developers, right? And I believe that as AI comes in, right? they're not gonna be replaced because they're gonna be able to go with the flow of what tools is out there. And what's going to make them valuable is their creativity. And one thing that I noticed is that in this community of creative developers, they're not stressing AI. They're actually welcoming in like, hey, come through. We need better tools to create 3D models. We need better tools to create the ideas that I have in my head right? They're excited. Okay. The people that I see worrying so much about AI are usually the people that are giving a task, right? They don't think of ideas themselves. They actually don't work on projects on their own or try to create or solve a problem that's out there in the world. They just show up to the job and be like, Hey man, um, what's the ticket? What do I have to fix? Um, I'm in this big company, but I don't, I don't really know exactly how all of this works, but somehow uh, I still got a job. I'm good with SQL. Guess what? That guy, he nervous right now. He's sweating bricks. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So yeah. Now another type of developer is the game developers. Shout out to Lubos Herka, who just released his latest game, Toy Monster VR, right? Which is like a, uh, Plants vs. Zombie mixed with XR, VR is like, bro, like <laughs> he's taking it to the next level. Okay. He's taking it to the next level. And again, this is stuff that AI cannot create this, bro. <laughs> this is coming straight from his mind with this. AI can go in and copy what's already here and then try to recreate something new. But again, it's not gonna get those same 3D models. It's not gonna come up with the same mechanics that he came up with, right? 
it's not gonna create that experience of hey this is how this is supposed to work this is how the menu is supposed to look this is the brand this is how you know this this game feels you get what i'm saying so these type of individuals i believe that they're good now the next guys here is the indie hackers and you can say well this could be clumped together just a bunch of like node.js php any type of developer but what's important is that these are people that are looking for a problem out in the world and they're looking to solve it this is not me saying it you know it i know it i've seen it plenty of times where people come in they're the most quote unquote talented developers but they can't come up with their own projects they can't come up with their own companies and it's not that hard it's actually just doing the research and finding out what people need it's that easy but for a lot of people this is actually difficult because they haven't nurtured that skill okay so again we could go in and, and check this out right you got guys that you know will, will laugh and will, they'll freaking crack jokes online man every other ai starters being a chat gpt rapper right and it's usually the dude that he's not building shit he's not doing nothing he don't plan on building anything he has no ideas but he loves to go online and talk about man look at these guys they're always creating a rapper right but what they don't understand those are tools that's what AI is going to be. AI is pretty much a tool, right? And the data is owned by the big companies. So for us as developers, we're gonna always use somebody else's data, somebody else's model, right? Unless we're the ones creating the models from scratch and creating everything from scratch. And that's not gonna be everyone. Let's just be honest okay this is why he's making money why is everybody following this guy with no shoes in thailand <laughs> right shout out to peter levels right but the dude's been grinding for years i'm gonna go in and build tools for a niche community of nomads because guess what i travel and i realize that there's a need for this let me go and create it these apps are not difficult these apps are built with basic php jquery and my sequel like the things that other developers that are like super technical and the latest trendy guys they look down on those applications this guy's making millions that's the thing that a lot of people don't have you get what i'm saying so these type of individuals they're gonna go in and take all of this ai tools and all of these opportunities and they're just gonna kill it because they understand the process of actually finding a problem and using code to actually build a solution now the need for code is not needed because now you can go in and express exactly what's the issue and you can break down how you want to go in and have this application and then now you can create your mvp and get it out there now the last position that i have here that i believe is future proof right is the systems architect okay and that comes with being able to understand the business and knowing the tools that a business needs to grow and to work efficiently right now again this already started right we could literally say this is happening right now okay shout out to goda right her channel is goda go right and she actually has a channel where she talks about ai and what i like about her channel is that she's creating content that brings awareness to AI, but there's a purpose to it, right? She actually has a full service AI agency, right? So what they do is they actually go in and help businesses grow, right? And help them build, you know, the right infrastructure by using the right AI tools for that specific business. So again, this is something that is not going away, right? You can literally see it here. The systems architect should not only hold programming skills, but they also require business and organizational expertise. They should also be able to give tasks to other members of the IT team so they can focus in the area of expertise, okay? Yes, you, you know that guy who was like a, a senior developer that everybody always goes and asks him question? Even though there's 20 other developers, but there's always one guy that knows everything. He knows how the business works. He knows all the different stacks that they're using. They know everything about the company. Guess what? That guy, he's not going away. 
<laughs> that guy, that girl, they're not going away. Okay? No matter what AI throws at them, guess what? Those people are going to be needed. Those are going to be the overseers. <laughs> Right, those are the guys that they're gonna come in and they're gonna look at the overview of everything that's happening. It's like, okay, go ahead, little Bob, go ahead, little AI, go ahead, little Cindy, go ahead, little R2D2, keep doing what y'all doing. But this is how you gotta work together. This is what we're building. He's the one that's that's guiding this, right? Remember, this is similar to like construction, right? A lot of times people come in and and, and don't simplify these things, but it's really like construction, right? There's a guy that does tile. There's a guy that does the electrical system. There's a guy that does, you know, even the, the sprinklers outside, right? There's a position for everyone, but guess what? There's an architect. There's somebody that's overseeing the whole project and making sure that everything gets done properly. And he's seen the whole project from a bird's eye view he know what's going on that type of individual is always going to be needed no matter what all right guys so i hope you guys are not scared don't feel nervous because you're like man holy shoe i'm not one of these type of guys right guess what this is an opportunity for you to learn other skills this is an opportunity for you to look at the world a little bit differently right sometimes we you know as the developers we thought that hey if I'm really good with this programming language, right? That guarantees that I can get a job. Currently right now, it might still be like that, but in the near future, it's just gonna be about what you have here and the experiences that you have as a developer. So now how do you go in and take a little bit of marketing, take a little bit of business, take a little bit of design, take a little bit of your creativity, nurturing that, you know, put a seed on that right water it okay when was the last time that you wrote a song when was the last time that you uh wrote a, a poem when was the last time that you actually drew something there's a lot of different ways that you can go in and help your brain as far as like building your skill levels for creativity like this is a big thing you're gonna see it right it's not just gonna be about ones and zeros it's gonna be more than that and a lot of these tools they're gonna make our lives way easier. But some people will get left behind. That's just the facts, right? It's just like, you know, in basketball or any sports, right? Some people, guess what? You know, they were really good when there was, you know, in, in, in junior high school, they were 5'9", everybody was 5'9". But guess what? There's a point where people, you know, come back after the summer and they're like, holy shoot, bro, what happened to you? You seven foot tall now yeah i came back prepped you get what i'm saying I, I had a growth spur right like that's the thing that's how this career is going to be some people will get left behind some people that naturally have something some of the skills right and some that actually go in and you know put in the work to get these type of skills you know, right outside of just coding and programming one thing that i do want to tell you guys is like don't be scared. Don't stop learning now. Don't listen to anything that you see online. Like, well, that's it. You don't need to code. That's dumb, right? You're going to need to know how to code. All right, guys. So you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like. Um, tell me what you guys think. You agree with me. You disagree with me, right? Do you understand what I was trying to show you guys in this video? right let me know in the comment section it's very important i, I want to find out what you think right um especially about the content editor and email developer because i know that's going to be controversial some people's going to say well those are the first people to go and it's like actually no i don't think so those are the first people that will be trained on the new tools so it's going to be very interesting on what you guys say on the comment section. Definitely let me know. Um, by the way, guys, if you want to learn how to code, you already know where you got to go, man. Come to codingphase.com, right? This is what we do. We teach people how to get into the tech industry, how to get started, right? If this is something that you want to do, we can definitely help you out, right? It's a great platform. We don't teach coding as a hobby. We actually teach skills. 
go check out the developer portfolio blueprint guys 95 percent of you guys are making the same mistakes y'all don't have a good portfolio and guess what there's not an ai looking at your portfolio it's a human being looking at your work and if they're not engaged and it's not converting into you getting more interviews guess what how you're gonna get hired if you're not getting an interview so again if you're going through that struggle Definitely go check this out. 